Okay, we're going to go over um, sub-profiles within a Google Chrome account. Uh, this has two main purposes. One is that if you share a Chrome account or a computer with someone else in your household, uh, they'll be able to have their own uh, sub-account, which they can then use to um, uh, save their bookmarks, their themes, their preferences, and then you guys can just go uh, back and forth uh, you just by clicking up here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and the second big thing is that it also allows to have a supervised account. That means that if you have a little person in your house and you want to control how they use the web and monitor how they're using the web, you have the power to do that. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So go to the little hamburger and then go down to settings. And then here we have people. Okay, now in this case, they only have one uh, profile. That's me. That's Val Cohen, of course. Uh, we see that it says Evan up here, and that's Evan. Okay, so if you wanted to add a person, uh, profile, whatever, then you just hit add person. Okay, now in this per case, we're going to create someone named Fakey Nick Figerson. And we're going to make them a ninja, because why not? Now, in this case, uh, this if you're just having someone uh, who you trust to use the web as they will, uh, they can do that, and you just add that, and you can switch uh, back over here, which, I'll, once again, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but if you have, a say, a child in your house and you want to monitor how they're using the web, you would click here, control and view the websites via um, a dashboard, which um, I'll also show you in a minute. So let's say we are going to create a managed profile. You would hit Add its thing. Fakey McFakerson has been created as a supervised user. Now that's a key word. So let's say we're going to switch to Fakey McFakerson. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see up here it says Fakey McFakerson and supervised, whereas this other window is still in my profile is uh, Evan. So, and then you could switch back and forth. So if I wanted to switch person, say, back to Evan, I could, or vice versa. Okay. So now let's say Fakey McFakerson goes to cnn.com keep up on today's events okay so there we are it's on cnn.com okay now just note that we'll put that aside for now so here we are in settings and if we go back down to people here you can see the two accounts and that one is supervised now if you go to the supervised user dashboard which is this link right here that will open here Okay, so there is the supervised users, and you could have multiple ones. You could have, if you have multiple kids and they want to give them different access or want to monitor how they're individually using the web, you could create their different accounts. Okay, so let's go down to Fakey McFakerson. Okay, here we are. Um, now, Fakey McFakerson, um, I have the power to block certain sites or only only allow them to go to uh, only approved sites, and I do have that power. Um, and I can also, right now, safe search is turned on, but I can turn that off. Um, I can also add the notifications that would let me know when and how they're using it. And now uh, here's the uh, other part is that it actually monitors which websites they're going to. So in this case, they went to CNN.com. Now let's say, let's go back to Fakey's window. Window. Let's say they went to a different site. Let's say they went to MSN, oops, MSNBC.com. Okay, there they go. So that's what Fakey is up to. Now, so we go back over here, and um, it actually there is a bit of a lag. So let's refresh. Now, we'll give it a few minutes, but it, it will show up there in a minute. Okay, so those are all the kind of cool different things that you could do within that account. And once again, this is basically going to be of interest to parents. Um, you can also, uh, if you know, as they build up, you can also look up how they're doing it by week, by month, and like what's most popular, and, and those sort of things. So let's now try to refresh again. There we go. There's MSNBC in there. So you can actually, you know, keep in close to real time, kind of uh, keep on top of where they're visiting and, and how they're using the web. Um, now, if you want to delete this later, you can do that. Just click that. Are you sure you want to delete Fakey McFakerson? Yeah, I got that. Now, if we go to settings, um, it's still there. Let's just delete that. Are you sure you want to remove Fakey McFakerson? Yes. There, and there actually the window closes. Um, so there you go. So that is just something you can do. Now you can do this from any um, uh, Chrome where you are logged in usually with your Google account, and then you uh, the other person can have access to uh, the account by clicking this little tab up there. So that is a cool thing that all parents should really know about. Enjoy.